restoration show. This is day three and uh, you are live with Hovner. And today we're going to look at some fantastic uh, metal in all sorts of conditions. Look at that Armstrong Siddeley Star Sapphire and a Renault Dauphine. That's not variety, I don't know what is. So without further ado, let's flip the camera and go and have a look. Look at that. What a little beauty. Look at the interior on this. Wonderfully dishevelled. Uh, Renault Dauphine rear-engined, very, very lovely. Armstrong Sidley Star Sapphire, this is the last car Armstrong Sidley built. Not the exact one, but uh, the Star Sapphire was the end for Armstrong Sidley. The world moved on and sadly Armstrong Sidley did not keep up. But we must go and have a look at a beautiful, beautiful 2CV on this stand. This is the Carol Nash Barn Find stand. And just look at this gorgeous, gorgeous 2CV. Proper classic French barn find. I mean, do not restore, do not paint. That is marvellous. And around here, this is Art by Bex, and she is arting the 2CV fittingly uh, just at the moment. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Hello. Right, we shall carry on. There are some very interesting vehicles in Hall 4, which we're in now, but I would like you to see. Humber Scepter Estate, look at that. I'd say that's not quite finished yet. Very rare, the Humber Scepter Estate. You don't see those very often at all. Um, let's go and have a look at this savage Cortina. Squeeze through the gap. V6 Savage. Needs a bit of TLC, I reckon. Right, there are some very interesting triumphs I need to show you next. We shall go and look at the very interesting triumphs. They're courtesy of the Triumph Sports 6 Club. And here's one of them. It's a Triumph Herald Hatchback. Um, what's most interesting about this hatchback, it's just a prototype. They just wanted to try it out. But if we swing round the other side, it's got an entirely different window treatment on this side. Do a flip. Why do you want to see my face when you can look at a four-door Herald prototype? This is the only one built. Um, formed the basis of the standard Gazelle over in India, I think. But this was one they built to try. And perhaps they decided it wasn't a very good idea because they didn't build them. But a four-door Triumph Herald would have been awesome. Uh, I've also got some nice shiny Triumphs as well. No acclaims. I haven't seen a single Triumph acclaim, I'm afraid. But um, perhaps this Atlas van will make up for it. Check out this beauty. Yeah, the, the Indian Triumphs were. They were standard gazelles, they were called in India, and they were four-door. This is a late Leyland Atlas van. And uh, if we go and take a peek inside, which has been beautifully artistically lit by the sun. So beautifully artistically lit. Can you imagine the noise as you were driving along with this engine right next to you? And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's missing a little bit of floor. Uh, did the Cortina stand yesterday, Glenn? So you want to check yesterday's video for the Cortinas. Uh, people wanted voxels. Let's go and find voxels. Suddenly got busy. It was feeling quite quiet today earlier, but there we go. Uh, sneak our way through. We've got a rather mean looking Ford Anglia. Shall we play guess the engine? Uh, I, I bet you weren't guessing that engine. Blimey. It's got the full running gear of a Mazda 1600 323 Turbo. That's um, certainly different. Uh, best named club is definitely the Frisky Register. And these are, these are gorgeous little cars, styled by Giovanni Michelotti. So they're one of the prettiest um, little um, micro cars. Uh, I mean, that, that is stylish. I love them. And um, they've got various friskies about. We'll come back and look at the voxels in a minute. This one competed on the Monte Carlo Rally. Um, hello to your wife, Tracy. And uh, look on the back. 
It's got twin wheels. Yeah, Can you imagine taking part in the Monte Carlo rally in that? Amazing. Man. I'm Mr. Invalid Carriage Man. Yes, hello. I'm just doing a, a live video at the moment. I'll come, shall come back and say hello. Right. Uh, Victor's. I do like an FD Victor. Very nice one there. Uh, very rusty FE here. Who doesn't love a Chevette? Uh, this one's not quite finished yet. Uh, any Triumph 2500? Yes, I can find some of those for you. We've got time. Gaffer tape, wheel arch repairs. Gorgeous. Uh, a much modified Bedford HA van. Yeah. Uh, Volkswagen clubs in the other hall. I'm not going to make it in that one today, unfortunately. Hmm. I'd say there's something missing on that one. But let's go and look at Calibras. I mean, can you believe Calibras were launched like 18 years ago? Flush lever. I do like uh, an Astra. I, I love the sporty Astras because they get these smoked rear lights. Very stylish. Oh, left hand drive. I hope it's got a digital dash. How about that for a colour? Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Cavaliers, I remember coming to this very building in 1988 and seeing the Mark III Cavaliers for the first time and uh, been amazed by the split folding rear seat. I, I was easily pleased as a child. Nice Mark II Cavalier there, not too nice, that's good to see. It's a little bit shabby in places, but who cares? Very early Triumph TR7. This one's on a P plate. That is very early. Right, we wanted 2000s and 2500s. And There's one for a start. PI perhaps with those wheels. One of the more attractive estate cars. Lots of tools, models and various things over that way. Uh, they're, they're the fan fantastic van once again. Um, I thought there were more Triumphs. Let's go and see what we can find. How about a Vanguard Estate? That is not a common vehicle. Liking that very much. Ah, here we go. This, this might please my Australian followers. Notice, you Australians had the wipers going the other way, but we have them that way round. They were very fussy, the Australians. So they, they tended to have a stag wiper set up, which is slightly different. So there's some wiper geekery for you. I'm throwing that in for free. Uh, Triumph Roadsters, anyone who remembers Bergerac, he drove one of these. Uh, second windscreen for the dicky seat in the back. What has been my favorite vehicle? Uh, I, I'm struggling to pick just one, to be honest, because I like some Beam Alpines and they're great. Um, how about this police Moskvich? Go back onto the Carol Nash stand. There's lots of straw here. Makes it appear very much like a barn. He's got the horn. Look at this. There you go, Greg Knight, you wanted a Russian car. I've delivered a Moskvich in seconds. How good is that? This was apparently a film car used for um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, although apparently it didn't actually appear in the film. So that, that's a wonderful claim to fame. And look, there's first Townsend. He's enjoying a drive in the Moskvich. Lovely, lovely car. In fact, if you're fed up of my face, um, I could pretend to be Fuzz. Does, does that work better? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Um, flip you back again. Look at this gorgeous Jowett Jupiter. Uh, Bradford built sports car. Fantastic looking thing, flat four engine, very different. And um, yeah, I'd say that one needs some work. And I'm gonna head over here. Yeah, they, they like their horn here. Wolf Vartbergs, they're in the other hall. I'm miles away from the Vartbergs, it's not gonna happen today. I think they're in Friday's video. 
the BMW M35, sorry, M535, right? Very nice. Look at the artistic sunlight blooming in through the window. Disappointing to see no headlamp wipers, but you can't have everything, I guess. So there you go, that's already 10 minutes gone. So that's going to have to be the end of this report. I'm, I, I would like to get took to the NEC in November for the um, November show. Um, that should be quite fantastic. Um, we'll see if I can find a stand to put her on. Um, we'll sort something out, I'm sure. But there you go, that's going to conclude my footage from the um, Practical Classics Classic Car and Restoration Show 2018. If you're very quick, I might um, do some quick Q&As if you've got any questions about the show. But otherwise, I'm going to have to go and find more tea. Uh, no, thank you for watching. It's been um, an absolute pleasure. And um, I guess I will see you again in a future video. Farewell. Guess the car.